Hey everyone and welcome back. So doing a news video today, got a couple of announcements and a couple of releases have been detailed. Some cool ones to go over today. So first up, I'm gonna start with Kino. Kino has a new announcement and they have detailed one of their uh, upcoming releases. First one uh, is an announcement I do wanna kinda cover cause it's actually a movie I really love and that is The Perfect Weapon is coming to Blu-ray later this year. That was a movie I saw as a kid and I became kinda fascinated by it. I think cause it was a little bit different than some of the other martial arts movies and it became I'm really fascinated by Kenpo, which is the uh, martial arts technique that's used uh, primarily the used in the film. So much so that as I got older, I actually uh, studied it for several, several years. And I'm not kidding, it's probably because of that film, actually, because um, I did study other forms of martial arts, but none of them kind of clicked with me as much as Kempo did. And I, I kind of wonder whether or not my fascination really kind of goes back to the perfect weapon. So anyway, as far as the Blu-ray goes, um, it, so it was released on Blu-ray before by Olive films uh many many years ago i actually ironically actually watched it just a couple a couple weeks ago definitely in need of a new transfer and indeed this one will have a brand new hd transfer taken from a new 4k scan from the original camera negative now i admit just for personal reasons uh because it is getting a 4k scan i kind of wish it was a 4k release but i don't know how much of a seller this one's gonna be i mean obviously there's i'll be buying it you know i don't know how many other people would so it may not uh, justify 4k release which is kind of a shame because i would definitely be all over that but I definitely will upgrade the Blu-ray when this comes out. No release date yet, no more details beyond that, but it has been officially announced. And then coming July 25th is their new 4K release of the movie Needful Things based on the Stephen King novel. And they ha have been able to, uh, they, they have released the details on that. Now this is going to be a 4K release and also a Blu-ray release. So disc two in both sets will be similar. It's just disc one, obviously in the 4K set will be 4K. In the Blu-ray set, it'll obviously be Blu-ray. It does have a new 4K scan from the original camera negative of the uh, theatrical cut will be in HDR and Dolby Vision. We'll have a 5.1 surround track as well as a 2.0 stereo track. I believe the 2.0 is probably the, the original theatrical mix. Has an audio commentary track with director Fraser C. Heston moderated by Scorpion releasing Walt Olson. A little trivia for you too. Fraser Heston is indeed Charlton Heston's son. Actually went on to direct uh, several movies. And then disc two, uh, which uh, in the 4K set will be Blu-ray only. We'll have a new HD uh, up res master of the 100 191 minute TV cut. Now, um, unfortunately, I'm assuming that that TV cut probably was only done um, as a video edit and not as a film ed edit. So I don't know whether or not those film elements either exist or in order to do a actual film assembly of that longer cut, it would just be way too costly. So kind of a shame, but I am glad that it is at least included in this set on, on some level. And it will also have a new interview with screenwriter W.D. Richter, as well as the theatrical trailer. And again, both the uh, 4K set and the Blu-ray set will be identical as far as uh, extras go. And again, that's slated for July 25th. Next up, we have some new upcoming releases from Cauldron Films. Now, Cauldron Films, you may remember, it was co-created by uh, some of the people who run a Diabolic DVD, who I order a lot of stuff from, and they've uh, released a couple titles so far. Um, more recently, they did, of course, the 4K release of Lucha Fulci City of the Living Dead, aka The Gates of Hell, which I did a review on, and the standard release is due out later this year. But they've done a couple releases too. In fact, one of them um, was actually very impressive. I think it was one of the first ones I ever got of one of their releases, and that was the uh, it was a blue, new Blu-ray release of another Lucha Fulci film, the film Con Contraband. And that was a really nice release. So they have three new uh, releases coming up. I believe they're slated for August. Let me just double check real quick. I think that all three are slated for August. Now, these... Uh, I believe are uh, right now exclusively only sold at Diabolic DVD, I think. And these are limited editions, but uh, just like with other, their other releases, a standard release will be released down the line. But they do look like there's some good ones. So first up is the film Off Balance, starring Michael York and Donald Pleasance. But uh, this one really interests me because it's directed by uh, Ruggiero Diodato, who is obviously best known for doing Cannibal Holocaust, but he, he did a ton of Italian films. So just the fact that his name, he directed it, already makes me uh, very interested in getting this one. It's getting a new 2K restoration from the original negative. It'll have English audio as well as uh, Italian audio with English subtitles. It's got a couple of nice extras including an uncommon director, an interview with Ruggiero Deodato, one of the final interviews with the controversial director filmed in July of 2022. So that is awesome. They got to um, get one more interview with him 
has a commentary track with film historians Eugenio Ercolani and Troy Haworth, as well as an Italian trailer and an English trailer. And the limited edition extras will have a CD soundtrack with music by the great Pino Donaggio, a double-sided poster, as well as a high-quality slipcase featuring artwork by Eric Adrian Lee. And that is limited to 1,500 copies. Actually, I think all three of these are limited to 1,500 copies each. Next up is the film Top Line, starring Franco Nero, and that is getting a new 2K restoration from the original camera negative as well, as well as English audio and Italian audio with uh, English subtitles. Black Top, an interview with Franco Nero, which is cool, they got to talk to him. The Strange Case of Ted Archer, an interview with Eugenio Ercolani. Alien Terminator, The Alien Theories of Top Line by parapolitics researcher Robert Scavarla. I hope I pronounced his last name okay. In-depth audio commentary by film historian Eric Zaldivar, including audio interviews from cast members Deborah Moore and Robert Redcross, with additional insight on Italian cut films with actors Brett Halsey and Richard Harrison, as well as the uh, limited edition stuff. So I have a, a booklet for the limited edition, as well as a double-sided poster, as well as the uh, outer slip case, with artwork by Ghanaian artist Farika. I hope I pronounced his name okay. And again, that is also limited to 1500. And then finally, the film The Last Match. And that is getting a 4K restoration from the original camera negative. Also have uh, English audio, as well as uh, Blown Away, an interview with special effects artist Roberto Risi. American actors in a declining Italian cinema, mini doc by Euro crime director Mike Malloy, Understanding the Cobra, a video essay by Italian film expert Eugenio Ercolani, commentary by Italian exploitation movie critic Michael A. Martinez, as well as a trailer and an image gallery, and the limited edition also comes with a booklet by writings from Jacob Knight and David Zuzello, as well as a double-sided double poster and also a high-quality slipcase with original artwork. And again, that is also limited to 1,500 copies. I believe all these are slated for August. Now, the last match is region-free, but the other two are region-A locked, so something just to keep in mind. And each one is up for pre-order right now at the Diabolic DVD website for $29.99 each. So three Italian films um, that I'm looking forward to, especially the one by Diodato. I can't wait to see that one. And then finally, Screen Factory has detailed two of their upcoming releases. Uh, first one coming uh, June 6th, so actually just a couple weeks away, is of course the... Uh, Paul Bartel film Private Parts from 1972. It's going to get a region A locked uh, Blu-ray release, but it is going to have a new 2K scan from the uh, inner positive. We'll have the original uh, mono soundtrack. We have a new audio commentary with film historian David Del Val and filmmaker David Dakote. She's a living doll, actor Ein Ruman on Private Parts, Frivolous Gravitas, filmmaker Alan Arkish on the films of Paul Bartel as well as a still gallery and a theatrical trailer. And then finally, we do have the uh, final specs for the upcoming 4K release of Creepshow from Scream Factory. Not so much of a surprise uh, to most of this. Obviously, there's no new extras on this. It is porting over all of the pre-existing extras that were on their last uh, Blu-ray release. So there's nothing new here, which is pretty much what I expected. I, I didn't, wasn't really sure they were going to add anything. Like I wasn't expecting them to add like the Just Desserts uh, documentary or anything like that, which again, as I mentioned before, if you haven't picked that up, uh, that was a UK exclusive extra for the longest time. It was done, I think, for like an old DVD release, but that got a really nice Blu-ray release from Synapse with a lot of really cool extras. So definitely high, uh, highly recommend recommend picking that up at some point if you haven't already. But as far as Creepshow goes, so again, coming June uh, 27th, so a little over a month away. So again, all the extras are the same. The interesting thing is that they're actually, it looks like they're kind of divided up between the 4K disc and the included Blu-ray disc. So the Blu-ray disc is not 100% identical to the one they uh, released before. It actually has like some of the extras and then the 4K disc has some of the other extras, so it's kind of split up, which is interesting. But before I get to the technical aspects, uh, let me just kind of run through them real quick. So it does have the commentary track with George Romero and Tom Savini, commentary track with cinematographer Michael Gornick, commentary with John Harrison and construction coordinator Ed Fountain, plus audio interviews with Michael Gornick, John Amplis, property master Bruce Allen Miller, and makeup effects artist Daryl Ferrucci. As Mondo Macabre, a look at Mondo's various creep show posters with mondo co-founder rob jones and mondo gallery events planner josh curry collecting creep show original props from the film with collector david buren the colors of creep show an interview with cinematographer michael gornick 
into the mix, an interview with sound re-recordist Chris Jenkins, as well as still galleries with uh, posters and lobby cards, movie posters, color stills, special effects, makeup, and behind the scenes. So that is what's on the 4K disc. And then the Blu-ray, which also has the commentary tracks, but then it has the rest of the uh, interviews and stuff. So that has Terror in the Three Rivers, a 2018 roundtable discussion, Ripped from the Pages, an interview with animator Rick Catazone, Horror's Hollowed Grounds, a look at the original filming locations, Tom Savini's behind the scenes footage, deleted scenes, the theatrical trailer in English and Spanish, TV spots, and radio spots. So as you can see, the because uh, I believe all of these extras were on the previous Blu-ray release, but they were all on the same disc. So it's kind of interesting that they split it up uh, this way. So as far as the film itself goes, this is the part that um, I kind of wish I had a little bit more information on because uh, this is both good news and also a little offsetting just because I want to make sure everything is okay. But it does indeed actually have a new 2023 4K scan of the original camera negative in Dolby Vision. So it has a new transfer literally from scratch. Now that's not bad. My only thing is I well, I just don't know whether or not Michael Gornick actually was able to oversee the restoration process, which he did do for the Blu-ray. He actually signed off on that. So either that or they're just using a new scan, but using all of his uh, notes and everything from that Blu-ray release, which honestly is okay. There's actually nothing wrong with that. As long as they make sure that it does match as far as the color and everything goes. But as of this recording, I just, I haven't seen anything about that. So I just want to make sure that, um, I don't think they would do anything differently. I just want to make sure that they're still, you know, because that original blue, that Blu-ray release they did before was so amazing that I just want to make sure that uh, it is indeed what Michael Gornick wants. But again, it is surprising that it is indeed getting a brand new scan. I was not expecting that. I just figured they'd take that uh, 4K master that they did for the Blu-ray, because it was only a couple years ago, and then just do some additional work and give it the HDR pass and Dolby Vision pass and everything to get it, you know, 4K ready. But no, they're actually kind of starting from scratch to a certain degree. And as far as audio goes, again, this is where um, I'm hoping for the best. So it does come with that original uh, 2.0 stereo track, which was the original theatrical mix. So I'm glad that is still on here. So no matter what, um, I still have that to fall back on because it does say it has the 5.1 surround mix now i'm assuming that's probably the one that was included on the blu-ray which was kind of botched it had a weird pitch issue i think it went out of sync in a couple spots it was like it was very bizarre like i as i mentioned uh before i think when this got announced i was like either fix that 5.1 or don't include it at all looks like it's here i'm assuming it's the same one but the other thing is too is that it does have a new dolby atmos track now on the one end that's actually pretty cool actually to get the creep show and a new dolby atmos track would be exciting my only concern is what are they using to create that dolby atmos mix from are they using um the original audio tracks and doing a brand new mix or are they using that five that botched 5.1 track as the base as the atmos that's what i'm worried about so they've got a couple unanswered questions here that um i'm i'm a little concerned about i mean i think at the end of the day i th i'm hoping everything will be up and up because as some of you know creep show is one of my favorite films so i definitely want this release to be as good as possible but i do have some questions in regarding to the new transfer whether or not it is as far as a color grade goes you know the what michael gornick signed off for a couple years ago or if he signed off on it again you know for this new 4k release that's that would be awesome and again when it comes to the audio uh, whether or not the uh dolby atmos track is based off that botch 5.1 or whether or not it is something they created from scratch if they created from scratch actually i should probably sound really good but again at least for the audio it does look like it has that original uh theatrical mix on here so um at the very least we're good there and again that is due out june 27th i do have my pre-order in in fact i have two copies i'm sure this will probably surprise none of you <laughs> i actually do have i have the, the the big big bundle and then i did order um one version eventually that just has uh, comes with the uh alternate uh slipcover i'm sure you're not surprised that i did order more than one copy <laughs>
<laughs> and obviously once that comes in, I will definitely be doing a review. You can bet on that. So that's it for this news update. Definitely let me know your thoughts on some of these announcements and some of the details that we got on some of these upcoming releases. Should have a pickups video coming in. Actually did take advantage of the Screen Factory 4K sale. Got two things and I think one of them, actually no, I think that's due today. And then I have one um, pre-order from Screen Factory that should get in the next couple days. And that's definitely something I'm going to do a review on once that comes in. So let me know your thoughts on these announcements. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.